why is it bad for cloud providers? Well, if you have a cloud agnostic solution, uh, you can avoid vendor lock very easily because the cloud provider essentially has to be, you, they kind of have to be honest. They, they can't uh, take you for a ride because you can leave at any point. It avoids essentially vendor lock-in. And I think that that essentially supports competition. And competition, I think, is, I mean, whether you're supportive of capitalism or not, I think the idea of, of competition helps develop the best in almost everyone. And one of the big reasons why they, the, the two of these gentlemen, they created Omnistrait is they wanted to enable a way to approach the cloud that would help the people, so to speak, as they were getting, I don't, I don't wanna speak on their behalf, but I think they were running into some challenges where people were not thrilled about the idea of supporting things that are cloud agnostic, right? this cloud agnostic piece and yeah i mean it kind of makes sense that amazon or microsoft or google or whoever may not love the idea of these deployment systems being generalized in a way that allows customers to shift between the cloud providers almost seamlessly. But the truth is, I think that as we just discussed, this is good for everyone.